Hello everybody and welcome to our new tutorial on Betrayal Seismic. Our discussion today will go around the different methodology on seismic interpretation uh, in Betrayal. Uh, as usual we have to open a new file which we already open. Right click on input tree, import file. Be careful to use SIGY seismic data and then choose point out uh, your line uh, this line is a 2D SIGY line 2D seismic in Gulf of Suez uh, in the west eastern coast of Egypt and click open selecting CRS as we did before search for Egypt what available okay usually we use Red Egypt Rebuilt which is local local coordinate system and click ok ok for all now the line is loaded into the session go for interpretation window new interpretation window let's load the line and see what is inside yes this is the line what we have line number one uh, go for seismic interpretation tape and click on seismic interpretation the new ballot will be displayed here a lot of options inside but let's start with uh, first two options we have manual interpretation by hand you can do any horizon at anywhere without any interfering from the software itself the second option is guided auto tracking guided auto tracking Let, let's see it later on when you click on manual interpretation let's zoom inside okay for example uh, we need to create a horizon passing this area click here then you have to uh, make a new horizon and name it whatever number A, horizon A click enter um, click at anywhere by left click left mouse click button here as you see uh, the pass of, uh, of my hand is making uh, no sense for here okay then double click when you double click means uh, you finish the interpretation now you have already a new horizon which is a let's me go for uh, another option which is guided auto tracking if you click uh, on guided auto tracking uh, this allows the software to put you on the best or optimum location of your click let's see what is inside uh, we have here already created seismic horizon 2 uh, let's click on f2 that's f2 and name it horizon b okay for a while uh, after using guided auto tracking let's go inside deeper okay then let's start with here the first point yes if you see here if you click uh, outside our range the software itself choose the optimum location of your uh, of your bus here this is semi interference from from the software itself yes it's using a like neural network to track your horizon here okay okay as you see here it's not a crooked line like uh, horizon number a use the best optimum point yeah 
Okay, then as usual, double click. Now we will finish the horizon B. Let's zoom out to see what is the difference between two horizons. This one is manual without any interpretation or any interfering from the software and this one with guided interpretation from the trail. Uh, in the next tutorial we will use completely the software, we will let the software do the full horizon. Uh, just follow us. Thank you for watching and have a good luck.